Please, blue lightning, you must help me. BL, you must save me from the nothing I've become. I am now officially a gooner. Well, howdy, everybody. Before we begin, I'd just like to give huge shoutouts to the people who make all this so possible. My patrons! Sebastian, Dominic Ruiz, Victor H, Jeremy Shaw, Darius Tan, CC Anthony, Philip, David S. Edwards IV, Gamer Oz, Jack, Jan Van S, Null, Irregular Inspector, Zax, Titan Leonis, Rocky Abdulela, Rice Trainer, Connor Jacobson, Jose Barnabe, Elizena, Russell, Yoyodre, a writer, Evan, Sean Thomas, Timber Broski, Fomoran, Kobe Fuselier, Ma, Thomas Good, and everybody at the Luncheoneers, and the samplers who, for some reason, still stayed. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. This is, this is a lot of love from you guys, and I, I'm sincerely thankful. Especially at the end of the year, I want to say thank you. <laughs> thank you for all the love. <laughs> Let's get back to the show because there's still a lot to cover. Hey guys, California Mackie here, doing well, and welcome to Blue Lightning. This is a particular game that I think you might be familiar with. This is made by the creators, uh... Give me a sec. Hey guys, California Mackie here, doing well, and welcome to Blue Lightning. This is a para superhero mind control game, just kidding. Uh, well, it's made by... Satire, satire room, satire room. So, satire, satire room. So, you know that it's filthy and naughty. So, I'm gonna end it a lot. Hee <laughs> Let's get started. I'm kind of excited. This is made with the, uh, uh, what you call that? RPG Maker Engine. Hold on. I'm a little big. I should shrink. Because I'm not the main character. There we go. It happened late at night. Long after something something. Thug one. Okay, let me inspect the goods. I hope you ain't cheating me. Of course not. What do you take me for? Everything's in my trunk out back. Let's take a quick look. By the way, my guys, my throat hurts at the moment, so I can't really <coughs> go full ham. Let's make this quick though. I don't want anyone getting in the way of our deal. The thug received his goods of fine white powder and pointed to the car, but at that moment, a bolt of lightning crackled from the cloudless sky and struck the thug's car. The whole vehicle exploded in a burst of fire. <gasps> oh my! Don't want someone getting in the way? You low lives are the ones getting in the way of society, spreading your drugs and violence everywhere! A man built like a sculpted statue appeared from the smoke, his tight blue suit stretching over his muscles, and a metallic lightning bolt symbol on his chest, gleaming in the dark like a beacon of hope. Bronze skin. And wow, hold on. That is... That's... Look at the animation! If you guys think I'm above licking latex, you are wrong. You are wrong. We're all VTubers now. Unwavering courage and a perfect mastery of lightning that makes criminals run in fear. It couldn't be anyone but the hero Blue Lightning. Shit, we got company. Don't you have anything better to do than stick your nose in other people's business, Blue Lightning? The goons immediately pulled out their pistols and took aim. Nah, uh, too slow. Blue Lightning shot a pulse of electricity from his hand, sending it through metallic guns. The thugs were forced to drop their guns or get electrocuted. Fuck! God damn it! Half the goons were out, cold, but the rest were reaching for their weapons late. The hero, hold up. Sorry, something happened. I clicked by accident. But anyway, he he used his speedy powers and disarmed them. Eat my radiant discharge! Ha! Huh.
Huh? Huh? In the blink of an eye, a third wave of electricity pulsed out from lightning, toned body, and struck the thugs like a tsunami of justice. With a pulse of lightning this strong, the mo most of the goons were completely out cold. Hold on, I am blocking. Some were writhing on the ground, but all of them were neutralized. Eventually, the sparks ended and the floor was covered in incapacitated goons. When the hero was sure there was no chance of a counterattack, he activated a communicator. This is Blue Lightning at point B305. Mission accomplished. The drug trade was stopped with no hassle. Requesting backup for detaining criminals and collecting evidence, or... With overwhelming speed and accuracy as well as a power body with an endless supply of electricity. <laughs> it is no surprise that he managed to take out the goons. Oh! Blue Lightning's apartment. Oh! Wow! In an unremarkable Tokyo condo, Blue Lightning was standing in front of a full-length mirror with nothing but a pair of pants. I don't see the pants! Eee! Am I getting soft? Or am I just getting old? I was about to make a comment about, oh, I don't think you're that soft. Mm. Is it my training? Should I switch things up? He had been in the superhero business for about 16 years and was pushing 40. The tabloids referred to him as the veteran hero and that hit him hard. Maybe it was time to hang up his suit and become a mentor, teach younger heroes. Being a superhero had always been BL's dream. <laughs> I see what you did there. Hey! But it wasn't exactly fun. You can hard. It can be hard to enjoy the glory of being a hero when your long list of exploits put your loved ones in danger. That's why he decided to keep his distance from others. No close friends, no lovers. Oh no, so sad. Mr. Blue Lightning, you shouldn't be sad like this. Please, use me for company. I am but a tiny hole of a sock puppet. Yes, I'm a sock puppet hole for you to use a booze and cream, mate. Yeah. <laughs> the hero's path was a lonely one. Making things worse, he had a sky-high libido and his own fist wasn't enough. No! Just use me. Hold on. Use me. Look, I have two holes. The top and the bottom hole. You can use both. That way. Okay, that's enough for you. <laughs> Snap out of it. Why are you acting like you're some old bastard? The commander is much older than you and he has a great body. He's a goddamn grandpa and still on front lines. Even now his heroic spirit can feel you're overwhelming. The commander has been top dog since his early days, but what most people admire isn't his power but his dedication. That power comes through his blood and sweat and kill him. That perfect physique comes from constant kill him. He's a paragon of kill him that all of us should try to aim for. A paragon of testosterone. Being a veteran here can be more of a curse than a boon. It's still, I still make mistakes. I still have weaknesses. It's easy to forget that. I always need to aim higher. No use feeling sorry for myself. I just need to add on a little more weight to my workouts. If I stay in shape, I don't have to worry about some upstart taking my place. Sorry, I'm a little sick. Newly invigorated, he pumped his fist. Ready to do what it took to keep his rock-hard body and fight the most dangerous bad guys with endless determination. It's commercial District, Tokyo. Sorry I'm covering, because this game doesn't give me much area to work with. Commercial District, Tokyo. Blue Lightning heard a scream and immediately went to help. Help! Monster! Someone save me! Did that work? Are you coming? Blue lightning, I coming. Blue lightning dashed towards the scene of the crime, a giant construction site. Workers were screaming, Oh no, I'm surrounded by construction workers. Oh no, whatever shall I do? Please, blue lightning, you must help me. BL, you must save me from the nothing I've become. <laughs> blue lightning. I'm Blue Lightning, sent by the superhero organization. What's going on? The site manager explained the situation. Mature man was heave heaving, holding his belly in an attempt to calm down and catch his breath. Something just jumped out of nowhere from the back of the site. Men are still back there, you gotta help them. It's alright, you're safe now. Go far away from here and I'll take care of the problem. <laughs> Excuse me. Hero hurried back across 
the road and headed into the back of the construction site. From the distance, he could hear faint sounds. Unexpected sounds. The moans of some old lady. <laughs> no. Well, time to prepare. You guys ready? <laughs> oh, someone help me. <laughs> this is me. Oh, whatever shall I do? Something is reaching, giving me to reach around. Stimulating my insides. Help, I'm feeling the eggnog fill me. Too damn dark. Flash! A radiant light from his body shot and instantly illuminated the room. Part of him wished it had and Everywhere he looked, there were tentacles forming some kind of massive monster. <gasps> tentacles! My favorite. His count its countless appendages were holding some poor construction workers in the air. Hey, I wanna see it. Mr. Artis, please, give me tentacles. I expect tenta- you say tentacles, I expect tentacles, please. Alerted by the li light, the creature lashed out a blue lightning. The hero had faced monstrosities like this before and was ready. Without breaking a sweat, he used the pillar to boost himself to safety. As long as that thing has little workers in its clutches, I can't afford to use any widespread attacks. I need to prioritize the hostages. Saving them one by one seems to be the best option. As soon as he's figured out the best course of action to rescue the workers, he raised a muscular arm to the sky. Here comes my cutter! Hiya! Powerful plasma torch engulfed the hero's arm with surgically precise strikes. The hero burned away the tentacles, forcing the beast to drop the workers like a tree dropping ripe fruit. All was going well. His perfection did come at a cost, though. The manly hero's sweat was starting to drench his skin-tight suit. This... This is nothing to me. I'm the most stubborn superhero there is. One. Last. Guy. Blue Lightning's abilities were indeed powerful, but also had drawbacks. He's a superhero that can only use the electricity that he has stored like a human battery. No stored electricity, no power. In order to restore his energy, he either has to take a long rest or manual something. Oh shit. Oh no, blue, blue light. Fuck, I pressed shift. While the rescued victim was still within line of sight, he turned around and shouted towards the hero. I'll be fine, just go now. Please. Why can't I blow my load? If I don't do anything, tomorrow's mission will be affected. What I could think about was his previous complete failure. He felt so much more pleasure that day than it. He ever felt in his life, and now simple, sim simple waxing carrot is not enough. All I really need to think about being milked by a <laughs> I felt that day. This isn't what a hero is supposed to do. Why am I acting like that? What am I thinking about all this weird <laughs> The monster couldn't even react. The giant humanoid scorpion got knocked far, far away from panicked citizens. He landed far off in some woods. Lightning cracked in his neck and smirked. Now that there was nothing to protect, he could unleash his full power. Looks like you really are as strong as they say, but guess who knows your dirty little secret? A secret? What secret? I've got nothing of the sort. Monster's fingers hesitated as blue lightning activated his bolt cutter move. The monster caught the attack with his impenetrable claw. The scorpion scream laughed at his reaction. <coughs> Excuse me. Though blue had managed to deliver a crack. Just in case. <laughs> a crack to his shell. The scorpion monster was grinning with confidence, but his tail was still undoubtedly a bit shaky. He didn't wait for the enemy to retort. He immediately threw one of the sig signature moves. The move connected perfectly and cracked open the monster's shell. <laughs> you liar. Imagine how your fans were reacting your nasty expressions while getting defiled by that monster. How you came all over your muscled body from getting banged on with tentacles. How heroic. That was it. Do you really think you could hide it from us? Monsters always can also pass on valuable info to each other. Our defeats help inform and strengthen our lord, the glorious Monster King. You're so naive, wordless human. All those dirty memories came flooding back in the smile. And that was Blue Lightning. Wow. Well, that was amazing. In the best and worst of ways, that was amazing. That was a lot. How do I feel? That was... I'm gonna need some time to myself. Thanks again for joining me, everybody. That was great. That was my mighty dirty. And I am now officially 
a gooner. California Mac is signing out. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I am, I've still got one more episode to do, and hopefully it'll be great. So, I... I hope you guys will enjoy, enjoy the rest of the series. This this was a pleasure to get into, as even if I did went over the time limit that I set for myself. There was a lot. There was a, a lot of effort and love that went into this. Maybe a little too much love, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, California Mac is signing out. Bye for now.